Now that we spend so much time on going back and forth and loading data, let's move into the other big navigation concept we see in mobile, but also in web apps. And that would be a side drawer. And Ionic ships with a built-in side drawer, which you can easily add to your app. Now a side drawer, of course, is that thing you trigger typically with that hamburger icon in your top navigation bar or your toolbar. And then you tap that and, well, the side drawer opens up. That is how that typically works. And in that side drawer, you can have links to other pages, other areas in your application. And you can also have uh, other utility buttons, like, for example, logging the user out, which might also navigate away, but which mainly does something different. Let's see how we implement this in Ionic. Now, I'm not getting tired of mentioning this. You can always dive into the official docs, of course. There you'll find this menu area, which covers the iron menu, which is how you set up such a side drawer. And you find detailed instructions on how you may configure it there and how it works together with all these other components there. But of course, let's now do that together. Now, where do I want to have that hamburger icon? That's the first thing we have to ask ourselves. And the answer is, for me in this application, the hamburger icon should be found on that discover page here. It should also be found in the toolbar of the offers page here. And I also then want to find it on that bookings page because the bookings page is actually the page we'll navigate to through the side menu. So basically, put in other words, I'll add that hamburger menu in this app and basically all the places where I have no back button. But of course, that's just how it is in this app. Might be a totally different story for your application. Now, how do we add that menu then? Because we first need the menu before we can add any form of button that opens it. You add that menu in your root component as a sibling to your root iron router outlet. Now, actually, you can configure multiple menus in an Ionic app, and you can even control into which content, so into which IN content object they should render. But typically, you use that main IN content, or in the case of um, this Ionic Angular app with the IN router outlet, you use that main outlet. And that basically means whichever page is loaded through that outlet, the drawer, the side menu, which opens up, will be rendered as a animated overlay across that page on top of that page. And this ensures that the side drawer doesn't get hidden behind some page or behind some toolbar or anything like that. So inside of Iron App, next to Iron Router Outlet, you therefore add Iron Menu. That is your wrapper around your entire side drawer. Now that Iron Menu now takes a side attribute. And you can set this to start or you can set this to end to define from where this should slide in. Now it's not named left or right, just as you didn't name the buttons in the toolbar, the slot there, left or right, because start typically is on the left, but depending on the device we're talking about or the region in the world you're using this, start might actually be on the right of the screen. And therefore start simply means what typically is treated as the start uh, in your region and on your device. And on most devices and regions, that would be on the left. Now you also should add the main attribute here to the iron router outlet because Ionic will internally look for that main attribute when it tries to open that menu when you toggle it. And I'll show you how to toggle it later. So main should be added here. And then this menu will render itself into whichever page is loaded here. And it will open from the left thanks to side start or it will open from the start, I should say. Now inside of that iron menu, you can have an iron header. And that's the same iron header component you already know from your pages. So the iron header is not limited to those pages. And the same is true for the iron toolbar, which you can add in there, which uh, could then in turn have an iron title. And here I'll simply add the title of my application and I'll name it pair BNB because we have mostly places that are for couples, for uh, pairing up with other people. I don't know, something like this. So pair BNB is what we have. That is the toolbar. And now we also have our iron content. So you can already see the content you have inside Iron Menu is basically the same content you would have in a page. You have the Iron Header and then you have the Iron Content. Oh, and the Iron Content should be outside of the Iron Header, of course. So Iron Header and Iron Content are inside the Iron Menu 
And inside the iron content, you can now really render whatever you want. Could be cards, could be a list, could be images. You can use any element in there. You can use paragraphs and divs in there. You can use whatever you want in here. But of course, typically you want to render something that looks nice. So here I will render a iron list with a couple of list items. Now, which list items would that be? Well, the first item will get a icon here with a name of uh, business maybe. I find that this is a nice icon for the purpose I have here. But of course, you can use any icon you want from ionicons.com. And the slot will be start so that this is on the left of that iron item. And in the iron label, so in the text for this item, I then want to have find or maybe discover places. That takes us to that discover places page, so to the places page with the tabs. We also want a second item, and here I'll use uh, checkbox outline, also slot start, which is for uh, your bookings, so which leads you to your bookings. And with that, I of course mean the bookings you made, not the bookings for places you're offering. And last but not least, I'll add another iron item, which will become important later. And uh, that will be for logging out. So the name here will be exit, slot is start. And on the, the, the label, so for the text, I'll just have log out. So these are the three items I want to have in there. Now, one thing you can do on the iron item, you can set lines to none so that there are no lines between the items, which I personally find to be a bit nicer in the side drawer. But that is up to you. This is the finished side drawer, but of course we can't see it. So let me next show you how to open and close it, toggle it, and how to navigate from inside of it. 